Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and we we'll continue our study into the animal kingdom and today we are going to be looking at the phylum Coelenterata or the ones we call the Coelenterates, okay? We also call them the Nidarians, okay? The Nidarians, all right? And when we are done with this, we are going to take questions from the, what, from the O3 Schools Jam app, the best app and the only one and only application that you need for sure success in your exam. It has all the past questions for all subjects, okay? in one application and then of course some features like the question search feature like where you can search for questions according to topic and you see the question that jam has set under a particular topic we also have the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes take tests according to the jam syllabus you need jam syllabus to succeed in your exam so it's structured that way for you to be able to work to study then likewise we also have what the utme challenge a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam this year you participate in the challenge with your mates, you win amazing prizes every week till one week to the main jam exam. You'll be seeing your jam result every week released to you, so you're able to track your progress of preparation. Then also, we also have what you getting used to what all the what how all, all the jam questions and what and how jam set their question. Then you are be able to build your confidence towards the main exam. So you do not want to joke with this app, you do not want to play with this app. Make sure you download that application right now and start what practicing all right so now i'm going to what uh uh, uh go to file on what call entry it. also after you downloaded the app make sure you want to activate activation is just three thousand error as at the time of shooting this video it will definitely increase in the future so please focus on passing your exam at once so after you have what uh downloaded the app click on activate on the app at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key click on buy activation key you see three options for payment you can pay online all right paying online will make you what uh get your app activated immediately automatically you don't need to contact anyone for that but if you are Paying, paying by transfer, you need to work, contact what our support. Send the receipt of your payment to what our support number on WhatsApp 091215152. Just send what the receipt of your payment to that number on WhatsApp. The app is also available for your computers, all right, for your laptops in case you want to work, practice without distraction. So you can also contact this number for you to work, get the link to download for what for PC or for uh, your computers. All right, so now let's look at phylum coelenterates. And of course, coelenterates, I told you they also call the Nidarians, as you can see, uh, include the Hydra, we have the sea animal, we have the jellyfish, we also have what the coral. Okay, there are so many other examples of what uh, of coelenterates. Okay, but these ones will do. The hydra, the sea anemone, the jellyfish, the coral, they are examples of what of coelenterates or that belong that uh, example of organisms that belong to the phylum coelenterata. All right. Now, some of the characteristics of coelenterates include so let's just see the characteristics. And of course, one, they are radially what symmetrical. I'll talk about radial symmetry and what bilateral what uh, symmetry in the introduction to the what animal kingdom. All right, and we say by radial symmetry it means that what that their body can be what can be cut into. All right, into by what into what any plane. All right, or any angle. They can be cut into their body part can be cut into. All right, in in what in any plane or what angle into two identical what halves. Okay, this is one of the very very primitive what features of what of the phylum coelenterata all right so it is they are what radially what symmetrical but they show what radial symmetry they show radial symmetry please take note of that then of course they are acylomates okay like i told you that based on what the position of what silon cavity the animal kingdom is divided into what three okay we have what the uh, acylomates we have what the pseudocylomate and then we have what the silomates. All right, this one they are acylomates. They do not have a true body cavity. They do not have a body cavity. They have no body cavity rather. They have no body cavity. The pseudocylomates are the ones that have false body cavity, while the silomates are those that have a true body cavity. So they are acylomates. They have what? Uh, they have no what body what cavity. They have no body cavity. All right. Now they reproduce asexually by budding. By body, they reproduce asexually by body. Must take note of that. Asexually, they reproduce by what? By body. Also, they are hermaphrodites. That means the word they have what both male and what female what sex organs. They are hermaphrodites. You know what hermaphrodite? Right? It organisms that have what male and female what sex organs. Like they say sometimes that what well, human beings also have some human beings are what are hermaphrodites. I've never seen one, but I'm sure they really do exist. Okay, so. 
they are hermaphrodites, therefore they can also reproduce sexually by producing male and female gametes. They are hermaphrodites, they are hermaphrodites, therefore they can reproduce sexually by producing male and female gametes. Like for example, the jellyfish. The jellyfish has individual male and individual female. Okay, so most cholentrates are what are hermaphrodites. Okay, inside them, most are one of these having male and female was uh, 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 male and female was sex organs. Okay, but the jellyfish, which is an example of what of a cholentrate, okay, has what individual male and individual what females. So a sexual reproduction in those ones is that what the male is release what the sperm. When they release the sperm, they are what unprotected. Okay, so they are fertilized. They are fertilized what by what. Fertilized or by the eggs, okay, and they will they form into what lava, all right. So that is what how our sexual reproduction happens in the world in the coalent rate. But take note that what jellyfish is an organism, all right, that has what both individual that has individual male and individual females, okay. But most coalent tractors that we have, they are what they are hermaphrodites, all right. So that is that now. Cholentrates usually show two body forms in their life cycle. The cholentrates show two body forms in their life cycles. Okay? These two body forms are usually referred to as polyp and what? Medusa. The polyp and what? And the medusa. Those are what the two body forms that what that the cholentrates was show. The polyp, P-O-L-Y-P, and then the medusa, M-E-D-U-S-A. The polyp is usually what stationary. Okay, it is it is what non what mobile. All right, it is what it is fixed. All right, it is fixed. Why what the medusa is free swimming? The medusa is free swimming, it moves. Okay, from one place to another. Okay, so this phenomenon is referred to as what polymorphism. Whereby an organism will have what well, two what body what form, why well, two body what shape. All right, so. That is of polymorphism. The polyp is usually was stationary, like we see, where the medusa is free swimming in most what coelentrates. All right. So now their body is diploblastic. Okay, their body is diploblastic. That is, they consist of what two body layers. They consist of what two body what layers, which are ectoderm and what an endoderm. Okay, they are what diploblastic. That is what they consist of what two body layers. Okay, which are what ectoderm and the endoderm. The endoderm is also called what the gastroderm. All right, the endoderm is also called the gastroderm, which is separated by the gelatinous middle layer known as what mesoglia. Mesoglia. Okay, now the what, like I said, the body is diploblastic, they consist of what? Two body what layers, which are ectoderm and the endoderm. All right, the endoderm is also called the gastroderm, and say, which are separated by the gelatinous middle layer, known as what? Known as the mesogla. All right, now also it is very, very important to note that what the phylum coelenterata is what? It's made up of what? Of four classes. The phylum coelenterata is made up of what? Of four classes. Now let us take this off and see those four classes. All right. Please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very, very wrong. If you have not liked the video, what you are doing is very, very wrong. Please, just click on that like button so that other students can easily what, find this what, can for easily find this video and also learn with you. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, what you are doing is also very what, wrong. Subscription is free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this video right now and then you must have what, subscribe. Okay, if you're, if, if you're not showing red, that means what you have earlier was subscribed. You can leave it like that. Okay, and do not forget to share. Keep sharing these videos to, what, to your friends and loved ones. Now, I said what well, the phylum or attack is made up of, what, of four classes, which include one, we have what, the hydrosa. Hydrosa. Okay, examples of what? Uh, organisms under the hydrosa as well, of course, is what is the, the, the hydra. Okay, the obelia. Okay, then uh, this is one class. Then another class is what? Is the siphozoa. Siphozoa. Okay, and an example is what? Uh, Aurelia. A U R O E L I E. The hydrosa, the what? The siphozoa. We have the antozoa also. Okay, an example is what? Metridium. Okay, metridium. M E T R O I D I U M. So we have the hydrosa, we have the siphozoa, we have the word, the antozoa, and lastly, we have the cubozoa. Okay, so these are what the four 
classes of what of the what of the coelentrates okay they are divided into four major classes the hydrosa is e.g. what the hydra the obelia the hydra is very very popular among what this what coelentrates okay the syphozoa e.g. the aurelia the anthozoa e.g. the metridium the word kubozoa also all right like i said the hydra is very popular among what the coelentrates okay because it has what only one opening it has only one opening which is located in the hypostome hypostome Okay, it only has what one opening located in the what in the hypostone. All right. Now, apart from that, it has what to call stinging cells. Stinging cells. Stinging cells. It has what stinging cells. These stinging cells are called nematocysts. Okay, they are called what Nemato uh, nematocysts. Okay, the stinging cells are known as what Nemato uh, uh, nematocysts, and also it have what. Um, uh, it also have what uh, uh, um, uh, what to call needleblast. Needleblast. Have what it has needleblast. Needleblast. Okay, this needleblast is what is used. In, what it is used in what in feeding on their prey. This is what they use what to feed what on their prey. Okay, so like I said, the hydra is what has what only one opening. That is the mouth, okay, which is located in the hypostone. All right. And then we also have what they have stinging cell, which are known as nema, nema, nematocysts. And they also have what the needle blast, which they what use the word in feeding on their prey. Now I'm going to what, look at what some questions from the from the OTD school jump up to what to drive our point home. All right. So now I'm getting my application. Getting my application ready. I'm using my question search feature to search for question. All right, so use keywords to search for questions on the app. All right, now um, we have one question here from 2006 number 38. 2006 number 38, they said, one primitive feature of the coelentrate is the possession of what I told you in the beginning of the class. I don't know, I think I hinted it. It's the possession of radial symmetry, okay? It's one primitive feature of what the uh of the coelentrates of the coelentrates okay so a they say does that mouth b they say radial symmetry c they say bilateral symmetry they say d a false foot okay so coelentrates have what radial symmetry and it's one of the primitive features that what that they have okay now this is a 2020 question number 34 they say which of the following organism has a symbiotic relationship with what with algae with green algae which of the following organism has a symbiotic relationship with the green algae okay the correct answer there is hydra the hydra and the green algae was show what a symbiotic what relationship they what live what symbiotically okay so the hydra portrays what the green algae okay because uh the the, the green algae the name of the green algae especially is what is chlorella okay chlorella is the name of what of the green algae so so the hydra what portrays what's chlorella because it has what that chlorella is what in its cells inside it exists inside the cell so the the the, the algae can can most likely not do without what without the hydra all right so uh, uh it provides what shelter or protection for what for the chlorella why would the algae was this uh, this is what starch okay which is what food okay so that is a symbiotic what relationship all right so take note of that so uh also we have what a 2004 question number 24 they say the type of reproduction that is common to both hydra and yeast hydra and yeast so i've talked about yeast cell before okay talk about yeast before and we'll say what budding is what so it's, it's, they, they, they reproduce what essentially by, by budding okay so also hydra reproduces by what by essentially by budding okay so they say the type of reproduction that is common to both hydra and yeast that's why every knowledge you gain is not wasted okay now i, I give you a question on hydra but of course you need to know about yeast Okay, and we have talked about yeast before in the previous episode, and I'm sure some of you have not watched it. All right, so please make sure you do not throw away whatever you have learned. So the type of reproduction that's common to both hydra and yeast is, you say, A, conjugation, B, binary fusion, C, grafting, D, budding. And the correct answer there is what is budding. Okay, budding is common to both of them. All right, please make sure you download the Hotel School Jam app. And what? Make sure you activate it. All right, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And make sure you are sharing our videos. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.